Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Halloween tutorial on this Spider Queen makeup look. This is very dark and creepy and it's perfect for Halloween. So if you would like to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. Alright, so I already applied my foundation, concealer, and powder. And I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. And I'm just going to fill it in with a black eyeshadow. Next, I'm priming my eyes, and I'm going to take this purple shimmery eyeshadow and pack that on my lid. I am going to be bringing this pretty high, and I'm also going to round it. So just make it really round and get it as pigmented as you can. Then I just take a clean blending brush. And I'm just using it to kind of soften the edges a little bit. I'm not really blending it a whole lot, but just to kind of soften it. And then I also decided to just take a little bit of my face powder just to kind of help blend it a little more. Then I'm going to take this matte purple shade and apply that to the outer corners and also into the crease. And this is just going to kind of darken the outer edges and kind of blend it a little bit more. Then I'm just going to line my eyes all the way into the inner corner, and I'm keeping this pretty thin. And once you get to the inner corner, you just want to extend that line a little bit. And then just drag the corner into the waterline. Then with a black eyeliner, I'm just going to fill that in and also apply it to my waterline and tight line. And then I go over everything with a black eyeshadow just to kind of make it a little bit more pigmented and to set everything. Next I'm going to take this pinky corally eyeshadow and smudge that on the lower lash line and then just blend that out. And now you just want to start drawing the web. So just extend that line like you would a normal winged eyeliner and make sure it is curved where it meets. And then from there, you just want to draw vertical lines. Then you just want to draw little U's and extend the points of the web just a little bit. And continue to do this on both eyes until you're all done. And then again, I'm going over it with black eyeshadow just to make it a little bit more darker. And also so that I set the eyeliner. Then I'm going to draw a little spider hanging from the web. So you just draw a string straight down and then a big circle for the body and then a smaller circle for the head. And then I also drew legs going in different directions. And then I'm going to take this charcoal eyeliner. This is by Maybelline. It's just a gray gel eyeliner. And I'm going to draw a pretty big spider on my other side. So I'm just drawing a small circle for the head, big circle for the body, and then I'm shading it in. And I'm leaving little highlight places because I want it to look kind of three-dimensional. So after you've done the body and the head, you want to draw the legs. And you want to make sure that the legs have joints so they're not just like sticks. So I did put like two little bends in them. And I went back and fixed the first two legs after because I didn't really like how they looked. But just draw it to your liking. And then of course I just drew two things. And then I went in with a white cream eyeshadow base and applied that to the highlight areas. And I also applied it to the legs a little bit in the center so that it would look a little more three-dimensional and then just blend it and then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to the top and bottom lashes but I'm not applying too much to the top lashes because I have these really cool super long lashes and I don't want to cover up the purple so here's what they look like I love them aren't they so cool I'll have it in the description where I got them next I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm just gonna line my lips with this 
And then I'm just filling my lips in with a black lipstick. This is by NYC and it's the Fergie Collection. For my hair, I just got this black wig from Joann's Craft Store. And I also got this purple sparkly headband there as well. And to finish the look, I'm just adding spider webs to my hair. So that is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! I'm sorry. <laughs>